Hi guys, I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about opinion writing. We are talking about this because it is a key difference between the Missouri GLEs, which had persuasive writing, and the Common Core, which has opinion writing. Opinion writing is different than persuasive writing, and let's use this document to um, help explain to you why. So this is a document that I sent to you before. It's, it's just the ELA aligned standards and you'll notice that in kindergarten through fifth grade we have opinion writing stated not persuasive writing and let's just use grade four as an example opinion writing in grade four they're going to want the students to be able to introduce a topic clearly have an organizational structure provide reasons that are supported by facts and details Notice that it does not say anything about persuasive techniques such as bandwagon or appealing to your audience's emotions. Linking and reasoning using words and phrases, so transitional words, and then providing a concluding statement. So the key thing to know about opinion writing is um, you are not using those persuasive techniques of trying to persuade somebody to your side. You're simply stating your opinion and giving facts and details that back up that opinion. You'll notice that it does go over to argumentative writing in sixth grade. Do not think of this though as arguments in the traditional everyday sense of, for example, kids arguing and trying to convince somebody to believe as they do. There's a difference between that and academic argumentative writing. Academic argumentative writing, again, wants, wants the writer to be able to state a claim, provide facts and details, relevant evidence to support their claim. Again, no mention of the persuasive techniques such as bandwagon and appealing to the audience's emotions is in here at the secondary level at all. So when you go to plan your writing units this year, make sure you keep that in mind. In mind that we are no longer teaching persuasive writing with persuasive techniques. We are writing opinion writing that has evidence, facts, and details. And then just one more quick um, explanation of this. You'll notice that, go back up here, all of our standards are anchored in college and career readiness standards. Part of the reason we have Common Core standards is to better prepare kids for college and career. And what professors are saying, what colleges are saying now is that they want their students to be able to come in and um, do exactly what we've talked about here. State a claim, provide reasons, facts, and details that are solid not necessarily to try to persuade somebody using emotional appeal or, or those other techniques that we have talked about before. Um, if you want to refer to a really good blog post on this, you can refer to Grant Wiggins' blog. This one right here talks about the difference between argumentative writing and opinion writing, and then he has a lot of evidence from university professors who talk about the need for students to have a solid foundation in opinion writing, not persuasive techniques. That is not something that is that they're necessarily going to need in college. Okay, guys, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know. Thanks.